So guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and this one's a slightly different video today. It's just a shorter video. If you like this type of video and you want me to do more of them, um, let me know in the comment section and I will. Um, if you've got any ideas of what you want me to do them on, just let me know and I'll try and do them. So in this video, we're gonna concentrate on cleaning up these pistons. So in the last my last video, I've done a head gasket repair and I cleaned up the block, cleaned up the pistons, and I've had a ton of messages on my Instagram and in the comment section uh, of how to clean up these pistons and how to get them as clean as I did. Um, so we've got various pistons here. This is a cast piston, this is a forge piston. I'm gonna just clean these up and show you exactly how I do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a first stage of cleaning, just a general cleaning that most people are gonna to wanna to do, get all the carbon build up off the pistons. That stops higher compression ratios and stops having issues with debt. Then I'm going to show you how to make the piston tops actually super polished and super clean. And that's going to stop carbon build up in the future and just put overall healthier engines. So let's get to cleaning these up now and I'll show you exactly what you need to do it. Right, so here's a few of the bits that you're going to need to be able to clean up these pistons. So it's a very simple job, but you just have the right tools and you'll be able to do it very quickly. So chemical wires. So we've got um, like a WD-40 type spray. I don't use WD-40 because it's overpriced for what it is, but it's just a multifunctional spray, basically one of the ones that penetrates into rust. Um, and I've got one here that's really, really thick. This is one that I used to use on uh, steel works and works that have been uh, together outside for a long, long time, and this penetrates right into the metal that's the one i'll be using today then we've got a degreaser that's going to be for cleaning the um obviously the multifunctional spray uh, wd-40 off of that and then we've got the brake cleaner for the final clean and get everything spotless so the um abrasive that i'm going to be using is a red scotch bite so uh if you ain't done this before start slowly maybe start at a gray sp scotch bite and work your way up um, and just be gentle just do it slowly take your time never use a brass wheel or anything on it it's going to damage it so i'm just going to get to cleaning this up now uh, first off we're going to use some of this lubrication spray and that will get most of it off and just gently do it make sure you don't touch any of the skirts obviously these are going to be inside the cylinder so you don't want to scrape any of the cylinder up So you can see there with just a couple of passes with the right lubrication and the right 
um, abrasive you can see how much cleaner the piston is already now you could just leave it there if you wanted but obviously I'm into making it super clean uh, and there's some stubborn carbon there that's just got to be removed um, and that is just going to take a little more, more time so don't be impatient with this obviously it's a lot harder to get off them bits of grit don't start scratching it with a screwdriver etc just take your time let it soak for a little bit so we're going to put a little bit more lubrication on there now so you can see here just going to scrape it with my nails just rub it all the way into that dirt you know you just want to get it penetrating into that carbon and uh, let it soak for a little bit normally i'd let it soak a little bit longer than this obviously i'm just trying to do this for the video um, but just to be gentle make sure you don't go too harsh with it and you won't damage the piston at all um, and any light scratch marks that are in it we're going to polish them out anyway when we get to mirror finish so don't be impatient when you've got these pistons either um, so i've just let this soak a little bit longer you can see here it's just going to get into that tough carbon that's on there just like let it soak into it for a half hour or so and it's going to come off a lot easier just like it would if it was rust it just does the same sort of thing So after a little bit more cleaning, you can see here, the piston is absolutely spotless of carbon. It's either been cleaned out in the valve cutouts, um, there's no carbon build up at all now, and there's no damage to the piston you can see. Um, absolutely perfect. Most people would want to stop here and just put their head gasket or their head back on and uh, run the engine back up and absolutely be fine. Um, but uh, for the high performance engines, um, carbon will build up on this piston very quickly again once it's running because you can hear that there's a matte finish to the piston. Um, you want to have a mirror finish to the piston if you want to stop carbon build up. It won't stop it completely, but it will help a lot with carbon build up. And obviously, detonation um, happens from carbon build up on the pistons, raising the compression. And um, obviously, over time, you will get knock. So, we are going to mirror finish this piston, and we're just going to use it like you would mirror finish any aluminium part. And we're going to go over it with wet and dry and some lubrication. Just keep go in different grades, different grades until it gets to a mirror finish, then we're gonna use a metal polish. Uh, I can do this all inside the engine. Don't think this is just because I've got the piston out because it ain't. I'm not gonna use no buffing wheels. I can do it all by hand. And I've done it many, many times with the piston still in the block. Right, next stage, we're gonna use some lubrication and wet and dry paper this time. So I've got wet and dry papers from anything up to, from 180 all the way up to 5,000. So I can literally go as far as I want, really. Um, I use these for all sorts of things. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a 600 grit, and then all the, what you should do when you do grits is always double your grit. So if you start off with 600, then you can go straight to 1200, then you can go to 2400, then you can go 4800, then you can go 8000, 9000, whatever you wanna do after that, and you're gonna get it properly, properly polished up. Um, concentrate most of it in this bowl. You don't wanna be rounding off the corners and that of the pistons. You wanna concentrate most of it in here because that's where the carbon is going to build up on the most day so we're going to get to doing that now get this really really clean get a mirror polish
Right, and there we go. That's the finished piston all complete. Now you can see how clean you can actually get it with a little bit of work. You see the exact stages you need to do it, and that's the way to do it. So um, the benefit... Right, so there we go. That's the piston fully cleaned up and polished now. You can see why I do it, the stages that need to be done. Um, hopefully this will help you out massively. And if you want me to do more projects like this in between the projects that I'm doing, uh, like filler videos, just so I can put some videos up, um, you can see... Right, so there you go, after a little bit of hard work, as you just see, the whole stages and steps that you need to be done, you can see how nice this piston's come out. So this piston can have a little bit more work if you wanted, but I wanted to do this all by hand. So everything here has been done by hand, and it's actually easier when the pistons are in the block because they don't move around as much. So you've seen the video guide of how to do it. Um, you can obviously, most people can just stop at the stage of the matte finish. You wanna go for that extra like high performance um, finish that you see here where the carbon buildup is gonna be far, far less when you open up the engine again. And even if it has got carbon on it, you'll literally just be able to polish it off with some metal polish. It's no coincidence that the forged pistons out the packet are polished highly on the top. So it's just to stop the carbon buildup on the pistons and the compression ratio raising over time with the carbon buildup. And when carbon does get on the pistons and it gets nasty and thick, it can actually end up acting as a glow plug effect and have um, like a pre-ignition effect.